Okay, welcome back, and so let's get started. Let's go into one of our castles right here and start messing with the settings, okay? So first tab, if we look, there's all these tabs on the top that just shows you the status of your castle. Um, next thing we're going to do is go into the setting itself right here, and basically we're going to look over the basic settings or general settings for the castle and advanced settings it's just this is what i've used ever since i had it and this is all i do i just pretty much keep it how it is out of the box now on basic settings though you want to be able to do certain things because some uh things you don't want to do on your castle right like sometimes i don't want to do let's say use vip points i may not want to use it but Basically, whatever VIP points you have in your bag, if you click that option, it's going to go ahead and open up every single one of those uh, VIP points, which I don't have here. But where it's located right here, it's going to open that up, which means it'll increase this, right? So it's basically the same thing as any VIP items that you have. It's going to open that up. That's that first... Uh, check mark and then open all chests meaning any chest that you have in your bag is going to open up as well right here chess and then next one use RSS from the bag when you build research or anything else do you want to do that uh, yes I do want to do that especially if you got something on auto build or auto research that's the um, button or the check mark that you want to check or check box that you want to go ahead and check. Use star scrolls. Star scrolls meaning when you have a castle right here. If you go in, if you look, I actually, I don't think you have that option right now. But anyway, if you want to add castle stars, then this is uh, where you would check on the check mark by clicking on that and it'll use the star scrolls that you have. Uh, use EXP items. So any EXP items for your player level, this is where you click. Next one, put gems in tre uh, treasure trove 30 days. This, um, this option gives you whether you're gonna continue to invest in the treasure trove. Uh, mystery box. That little mystery box right here, that's what you're going to end up with. <clears throat> but yeah, any mystery box that you uh, check off, when you check that off, it's going to clear out. So it's a great uh, option when you have that Guild Fest uh, op uh, quest where you have to do like 40 mystery boxes. That's the uh, option that's going to just do it every, every time it renews. Turf quest, if you click on that... It's going to open all your turf quest, meaning that, you know, do it if you don't care about your might. We're talking about these right here, right? And that increases your um, player level, but at the same time, it gives you a lot of might. So that's something you really have to consider. If you're a trap, you probably don't want to click on that because it will add mites galore. But this, uh, this particular account that I'm showing you guys, it's not tied to the bot account because I'm just showing it to you to point out what it is. Actual bot account, not this one, uh, but is actually this account right here. This is the one that I'm in right now, but this is the actual bot account. Okay, so next option, general settings. Um, we have daily login gifts, VIP quest, guild quest, adventure log. By clicking on that, it's going to do that adventure log. And then you can open all guild quests or admin quests, which are these little things right here. Admin quests and guild quest. So that will do that. But again, that's going to open up every single one, right? Here's the mystery box we were talking about earlier. 
So you can also make it open all guild quest and admin quest or you by clicking on these and then you can set reserve where it'll keep back like whatever you said like in this case 150 uh, chests just keep it in the back um, that's usually probably done because you want to do uh, automate like a uh, guild fest or something but uh, if you know let's say you're needing to open all your like guild quest then it may be good to open it it'll automatically open every single one of them if you're trying to get guild coins out of it right or exp for your level 60 level or 60 player level then that may be an option that you may want to do just to open all those up okay now next thing here next section it says speed up by clicking on use speed up it will actually use up all the speed up there um, I can make it use it for building research or training or I don't have to and just let it run naturally right and right now with these options it's still not going to run you have to automate the building process as well but let's go ahead and click on speed up process for now I'm not going to do training but I'll do building and research but you can use uh, all the speed ups you have like building traps or fixing your traps, pack merging, lunar gear, wall repair, uh, trap repair, or building traps. You can also use uh, normal speed only for building, which tells them basically any normal speed. If it's doing research or training, it's not going to be used towards that. It's only going to be used towards building. And then wait until help is full. So if you get 30 helps, is the system or the bot is going to wait until that is uh, filled up and then lastly smart speed up basically smart speed up uses it where it gives you it's it uses up to the last minute before that free speed up comes but it will not get it into free speed up you're gonna have to wait probably so many seconds or whatever by unclicking this it basically speeds up the process because it's going to do whatever is necessary to eat up all that uh, or, or speed up that wait time. Okay, and then Labyrinth and Kingdom Tycoon use only free attempts. Normal or Elite. In this case, you can't. We don't have Elite, so it'll be normal. And then it'll do uh, free attempt. And then also only use free attempt for um, Tycoon. You can use luck tokens if you want to. That's held back in your bag. And then um, another is attack labyrinth. Not just the free attempt, but the next one. And use holy stars. It shows you how many you got. Use kingdom tycoon. And also shows you how many you got. And then these uh, section, next section is for guild. Send help. This, this is where all the bots are set up. Where it's just sending you instant helps. Filling up like 30 helps in like. 10 seconds uh, right now the default is 30 seconds but I could actually send set it to 10 seconds to check press that help button every 10 seconds and if you got a bunch of bots doing that you're gonna fill up that uh, help bar without any issues right uh, it'll automatically collect uh, guild gifts or any fortune packets or slow help speed when bar is full and then join guild showdown if you want to so by clicking on that, it'll actually join Showdown by itself. A turf boost, food boost, stone, wood, or gold, or gathering boost. And then you can also make it do daily missions, send emojis daily. You can make it shelter on that mission, and then labyrinth and kingdom tycoon. Okay, so that's your basic setting tab, and then following videos will have next tab for protection supply gathering rallies and so on okay so i'll see you guys on the next video thanks